All right, guys, another random video on the JMW channel. And uh, this time it's about my pack. As you know, I'm into photography and I'm trying to get more into that this year or, or do it more. Uh, I've been working my butt off lately, so it's been hard to get out. So this guy I've been using and it's a 5.11. I'm not sure what model it is. I think it's about 20 liters. I'll put the name somewhere here of the model, but it's great. It's got Molly webbing on it, which is awesome. This particular pack doesn't have anywhere to put a, a drink bottle or a water bottle. So I picked one of these up off Amazon. It uh, uses Molly. Uh, so the webbing's awesome. I have one here that I use and I use it for whatever I want, but a lot of times I'll just use it. And I hate Velcro, man. It's so noisy. It's so untactical. Uh, I'll stick my tripod in here and lash it down. So that's what that's doing there. But it's nice that you can add these bags to it, you know, first aid bags, whatever you got going on. But it's been great for me. And again, I have to use something uh, bigger than I would normally use on a hike or if I'm hunting, fishing, whatever, because I'm trying to do the YouTube thing at the same time. Okay, okay. This one fits my drone in this sack like perfectly in the original drone case and it's awesome. Size wise, it's great for, you know, half a day, day hike. Um, I can get my first aid, fire starting kit, all the stuff in there on top of my camera gear and all the crap that I'm trying to use while doing a, a video. But what really sucks balls with this thing, with a pack for your camera gear, uh, every time you're setting up or digging for something, you got to take it off. You got to take it off your back and no matter how you pack this thing it's just going to be a pain in the butt for my photography gear um, stuff that i've been carrying uh, because i don't want to take this thing off all the time and dig for whatever i'm digging for so i've got it figured out this one will retire probably just to my hunting uh, my day hunting pack uh, it'll be fine for that it'll be better than my old day hunting pack which i'm going to show you here now boom there it is this is my hazard four pack this is a sling pack it's an awesome pack i've had it for years used it for years for hunting bow hunting and rifle hunting and i used to carry my binoculars differently than i've been carrying them over the last couple years or so i've been carrying them i actually swapped back and forth from like a chest rig been using that more uh, than ever which means the sling pack kind of sucks because you've got a, cr a strap that goes across your chest messing up with your uh, binocular harness so no good, this is getting retired. I'm gonna use probably the other one to hunt with. So the sling pack is awesome for what I wanna do. I wanna be able to slide this thing around in front of me, pull out a camera, pull out a snack, pull out a first aid, a fire kit, whatever I want, fast and easy, without taking the bloody pack off uh, like you do with an AppSack. So that's the deal. Now you can get sling packs and they're really, I wouldn't wear them, it looks like a, so you know what, I'm not into street photography. Um, I'm not a dirty hipster. I wear plaid and a toque because I'm cold. I don't wear that stuff in July. And you know what? I don't want to take pictures of ugly people in the city setting. So I need this. I need the Molly. I want to be able to add stuff to it. I got some survival gear in here or whatever else, depending on what I'm doing in the mountains. So this is the side I'd be looking at once it's slung around from my back to my chest. I got a Wenger Swiss Army knife. I've got a pouch on both sides for water bottles or whatever, uh, tripods. So on these Hazard 4 packs, you've got these buckles on both sides. So this is the bottom side. So I'm never going to unzip it all the way here obviously my crap will fall out of it. So these just stay uh, cinched up and snapped in place. So this is the side I would be opening. And you know what? I just leave these uh, zippers here. So what I got going on here is I've opened up the side that I would open up. And I'm going to open it up more than I need to just to show you here. Um, basically what I've done is I bought this insert off Amazon and it's actually the loop side. This thing's all loop, like Velcro loop. And it comes with dividers, the whole deal, all good. Um, and the Hazard 4, uh, the sidewalls of the Hazard 4 are loop as well, because you get dividers for them, like this guy here. So what I've done is, on the bottom of this guy, I've added, uh, added a four inch patch of hook. That's, I actually just glued it on, I didn't sew it. I just glued this on to the four inch patch of, of hook and then I place it where I want it on the sidewall of the Hazard 4 and it doesn't go anywhere. So my chest is here, I'm looking down here, I'm opening this guy up and I'm pulling out camera gear. I can get a couple lenses in here. I think I got, uh, what I got, four lenses, two bodies. I got a body back here right now, OM1. I can have another one here. Um, I can also add stuff up front here. So what ends up happening is once I've got my camera out, with the 28 mil or 50 mil, whatever I want on it, I end up just sticking it back in here so I can grab it easily. I'm not tucking it in here. But this holds everything secure. It doesn't bang around. My drone now is in the sleeve and the battery packs in the back. So that fits perfectly right there. So again, I can just slide this thing around to the front of me, grab my crap, use what I've got to use, 
and, uh, and get to work with it. Same with these side packs. I got filters in here, uh, some batteries, uh, whatever I need in there. Up here, I got a whole bunch of film that I'll be shooting, uh, lots of storage. If I'm running out of storage, I can easily add one of these packs to it. So that's the deal with that. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So it works well. So that's it set up, ready to go. Um, and I'll show you uh, one other thing I picked up uh, just to get things light. And again, I'm a bit of a uh, Amazon hose bag. So here's what I got. Here's what I picked up and I can't show you my other tripod until I take my camera off the tripod. So this is a newer, um, it's called newer and uh, it's really light. It's a pound or 1.1 pounds. So very light. And again, this faces me when I swing it around so I can pull this thing out, use it when I need to. It's like probably a third of the weight. I just wanted to throw this out there again another random video uh, but this guy has been working out great so here's what i'm seeing when i'm looking at this bag my camera usually sits here and i can get at it with whatever lens i put on it no problem i got spare stuff in here and i can get out my critical supplies quickly and efficiently